Good afternoon. It's March the 15th, 2023. This is Don Taylor coming to you. You can see me in the little picture down there. I started this uh, project two years ago. And a year last May, uh, the Lord spoke to me because uh, I, I was in a position where I had to move from my old place. And he said, get moved, get settled, and finish off the, the project that you see before you. And uh, so most of the work was done about two years ago. And I uh, got just the micro camps to kind of go over to, to uh, <clears throat> do the logistics in there. I'm just going to give you a run through. So this is called the Ark Ship. And the Ark Ship stands for, just give me a minute, I have to get my glasses. Well, it's right there in front of you, but in case you can't read it. Maybe I'll blow it up a bit here. Should be able to see it there. The Ark Ship stands for Advanced Relocation Contingency Plan for Sustainable Housing in Close Proximity. And, uh, this is bracing for climate change, uh, visualizing approach. <clears throat> so this is actually Project David from 1988, where it, where it had to start. And uh, it should be a diversified approach, visualizing isometric dwelling. So I have to correct this. So I'm just going to give you a run through. This is Project David here, universe of right approach visualizing isometric, not independent dwelling. Just going to read this. This was uh, April the 30th, 2022. Almost, well, it'll be a year, I guess, since I started, <coughs> started revamping this. These plans concern the survival of God's people. In the days, in the last days, they represent the places of refuge foreseen in Revelations 12:5, and have been revealed by way of visions given to David, Prophet David Terrell, in the late 1950s and 60s, known as blessed areas. These wilderness places will become home to those who overcome the beast, and the coming mark upon mankind. The first city will be the most beautiful of all. Uh, shall be the place where the glory of the Lord dwells openly. This is place has not been unveiled yet. It'll be in the States. Pattern after the Star of David, the Holy Spirit gave me the overview of these plans in the summer of 1987. Depicted below is the original plan drawn on the living room wall of a sister in Bangs, Texas, of whom has gone on to be with the Lord. The burden for these communities was given to me at an end time farm in Thunder Bay, Ontario, one year prior to receiving the, the plans. That's where I touched base with the uh, Sam Fife people. The first phase of these plans was completed in the summer of 1994 and confirmed, and confirmed by a handmaiden of God where she saw these cities above the earth. In another vision, these plans were passed from hand to hand amongst the 12 apostles in, in the heavenlies, dated and stamped, approved, and they were placed back in my hands. In one of the seven open visions concerning the destruction of the West Coast of North America in 1988, the angel of the Lord asked me, where can my people go? Pointing north, I handed Gabriel a white cylinder that contained the survival plans for God's people. This is, has to do with the evacuation of the West Coast coming up. So I'm just going to skip this here. So this is the original plans. I'll blow this up for you. Let me move the center of this here. So, from the very center to the outer point, I think on this scale was 5,009 feet, almost a mile. 
And I'm just going to grab my calculator. So if you got a, if you got a section of land, this would be a good a start. So if it's 5,009 feet, you square that and multiply by 3 and uh, divide by 4, 3, 5, 6, so you get 1,728 acres. So that's uh, divide by 620 to a section. About two and three quarter sections of land. So if you had a chunk of land like this, you could easily establish uh, 12 farming communities around. That'd be your agricultural ring. And then you'd have one, two, three, four, five, six more uh, communities in the in the star points here. And so that could be uh, commercial, agricultural, you know, farming. And the next ring would be more management. And this would be the, the spiritual center where everybody would gather. And uh, so each one of these star points would be half of 5,000. So that'd be about 2,500 feet. So it's you still got a pretty good chunk of land to do things with, right? <clears throat> but what, what you do is reduce the uh, the footprint as you come toward the center. These are the uh, traffic circles. As you come in, you can actually go around the tra traffic circle and you can come into the interior. So it'd be, li it'd be like a large suburb in a, in a city. A totally independent you can see the little wall socket here. We we'll have to reduce down, guys. Maybe a hundred percent. It's a contents page, so I'll be getting back in this, taking about three days to get back into this again. So this is the Ark ship. Uh, I did start off with 40 acres. Uh, may increase to 120 acres. They are scalable. So this is, uh, all this here is the Ark ship. This is what you call a macro, a macro camp. You got one, two, it's a binary design. And then the center of this would become your spiritual center. And the yellow is uh, for growing. And you also have a perimeter around the edge. The arc ship design was, uh, I'll blow this up again. The arc ship design was uh, first given to me in the spring of 2021. It is made up of a H7, H17 acre micro camp model set into a binary design that should be macro camp forming a 35 acre plot the five acre expansion zone. The two outer macro camps each have six micro plots uh, built within them so I'm going to have to kind of reformat all this smooth out the language. Each micro plot or micro camp is designed with six mobile family camping arrangements such as RVs, mobile trailers or, or glamping arrangements for, uh, for a total of 36 campsites. The geometric center with each of the micro camps is designed as the community hub where everyone can gather to eat and worship the seven acre plot in the primary in the center is the primary building block of the arc ship model. This complex represents the spiritual center surrounded by barter trade and micro shop facilities. Either side of the two of the one acre plots reserve for gardens, crops, and grazing. 
So in each one of these macro camps, you have one, two, three, four, five, six uh, family plots for six to seven, uh, six room for six families per plot. And then you'd have your 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 community center, and you would also have another uh, one third to one quarter in the center would be reserved where everybody can gather together. And that's doubled up here. And this is your main spiritual camp where everybody can gather for, for a larger congregation. So that's the ISO model. H1 macro camp, a seven acre plot. I might uh, make the micro plots, the macro camps, one acre plots. And so that this would finish off to be 16 acres because each of the micro camps is equal to one sixteenth. So I have the data data sheets on these. So that's a finished model. You can see the micro camps along the edge here. So each one of these is equivalent to one sixteenth of the macro camp. And you can see the, the yellow border. That's actually a, an arbor that goes all around the outside about eight feet apart. You can make that out of rebar and cement. Then you got your little uh, <clears throat> uh, corner pieces. This would be like a old time tower uh, towers that you put up here. You could have chickens, uh, ducks, geese, and all that that could go on the inside of this. But it's, it's mainly an arbor that you can uh, grow food, right? You find crops in that. The center is similar except this is for uh, your buildings would be different you know set up for main for everyone to gather so you're going to have to have room here for about uh, several hundred people or more so each camp will handle uh, five seven families say so five uh, five people to, to family to, to a family Plus another five more in the center, so about 40. 40 people on a one acre plot. That's in the full scale design. So that would be uh, 40 times 6, 240 people. Then you'd have another, I don't know, maybe 40 to 50 people in the center. So we could say at least uh, 250 times 2 is 500 and around 750 people. So if you go to the, if each micro camp is one acre, that'd be 16 acres. So this here would be 16 acres. You multiply that by one, two, three, four times four. They give you uh, 64 acres. There's lots that you can do with it. It's fully diverse, diversified, right? Okay, moving on. Don't want to dawdle too much. I want this short. So I'm going to have to revamp all this. So that's a larger view of the macro camp. You can see how the roads are made in. This is all done without having to use a straight line. You know, I'm keeping to the isometric geometric pattern. So this can be set up very, very quickly. You could actually survey this uh, given a week with a crew of seven. You could actually survey this entire 16 acres where you're putting in the roads, you're putting in the fence lines, everything. Preparing the plots. So that's the layout. So the crews would have to be trained to do the isometric uh, uh, survey. So if you got a transit in the center, then you, you can actually see where your your main points are here. One, so that'd be one, two, three, 
four, five points. So you just mark all that, and you go uh, to mark out. So you're marking out your star points this way. And this way, you're marking out your your hexagonals. One, two, three, four. And you stake it in, and you and you draw it in. So this would be relatively simple, and just use a uh, uh, ropes to kind of put in your temporary boundaries with rebar. That's all you need. So you start off with, uh, you make your outer perimeter, get that established. And so there's two patterns that are used here on the star grid. One's a 24 point, and this is uh, dependent on how the star is arranged within the hexagonal. You can see that the star points go to the center of the hexagonal sides, and that gives you 24 sets of triangles. This is the 18 point. You can see where they, they, they go into the, the corners. So this is a little larger scale of, eight, of an 18 point star grid. So these are both put together to form that. So it's, it's relatively fairly simple. It may look complicated, but it's actually simple. So this is where I start drawing in the, uh, doing the final approach on this. Image two, image three. You can see where I've uh, scaled down the hexagonal from, from the purple to making this here. One more scale down, image four. And uh, so this would be, here that would be classified as the uh, geometric core. This is where you're actually making the, the spiritual camp, right? <clears throat> so you would have your, your settlements here. I think that's it. That's all the isometric layout designs. So that's basically your blueprint. And you modify your blueprint to uh, put in these arrangements to develop your micro camps, micro camps, and your and this macro camp. So this would be the macro camp layout. So this would be your sixteen acre plot. This is where I'm developing the buildings in the center. These could be greenhouses in the green. And these could be barn units. And this here could be a broader trade facilities. Micro, different micro shops, right? Where people come in to barter trade. So you have put in the, the center. This is using the uh, relocation platform technology. I'm going to blow this up. So this is using the uh, using, I think this is an H31 model, using eight foot interlocking uh, hexagonal platforms. Right, you can actually establish an elevated uh, floor base. Still need to finish that. So that's three different scales, small, medium, large. And uh, based, so the, the scale is based on the size of the micro shops. So you could have of the micro camps starting from one acre and down. So you could have a, a three quarter scale, you could have a two thirds scale, you could have a half scale, depending 
what kind of facilities that you want to set up. Dictionary of terms. That's my contact email. I'm just going to leave that there in a minute. So uh, you can take a snapshot of this. And uh, so when this manual is complete, it, it will be available and be free of charge. And I'll, I'll send it to you on your email. And you can take it and print it off. That's it. Building sacred sanctuaries for the bride. I think I'm going to leave it here. Now when the when I was just drawing in the borders here, I didn't finish the borders. That's when the uh, Lord gave me the started giving me the name. I know uh, these two words came to me, a diversified approach. I didn't know what the last letters were. I asked the Lord, what's the, what's the rest of the name? And he said, you see that dictionary by the side of the couch? Look it up. So within 10 minutes, the Holy Spirit gave me the, the, the full name of Project David. All right. We're going to need these people because we're looking at the U.S. economy is now going down. And uh, 2007 and 2008 was just a warning to prepare. And there's not going to be no recovery. You will see one third of the American economy is going to disappear this year. It's going to take a hit. And that's going to be followed by another 50% cut. And... Uh, God's bringing America to her knees to humble her and to bring her through the fire. <clears throat> to stay in the cities, you will be made to be compliant. You will be forced to take the jab, take the mark. The only way of escape is uh, looking unto the Lord and to follow the Lamb. That's it. That's our only survival. Learn to survive by our faith. David Terrell, God's prophet to the world. He's, he's seen these blessed areas back in the 50s and 60s. He saw large chunks of property that would be 40 by 70 miles. He saw, I think, five main mother communities in America. Outside of these camps, you don't want to be. Because God's presence is not going to be outside these camps. I'm going to leave it here. Uh, I'm open to your, your comments, your suggestions. This is Don Taylor coming from my little place here in Boston Bar, British Columbia, Canada.